at the crack of dawn, Isaac Asimwe secures his house on the outskirts of Kampala city. Slowly, under the cover of darkness, he begins his walk to work. It's not through choice, but Asimwe says he cannot afford a daily transport fare. Definitely, I would wish to, to board a taku, yeah, or, or a border border, so that I reach here when I'm fresh. I do my things when I'm fresh, hey, because I have to save. Asimwe walks six kilometers every day from home to his workplace. On top of his daily job, he washes cars for extra funds to meet his daily needs. I must forego those expenditures, transport, that stuff like that, so that I earn and I go for university. His story is similar to the tales of many Ugandans who walk to work every day. A recent report by the World Bank reveals that walking is the main mode of transport in this capital, with 70% of residents walking to work and to schools. The World Bank attributes this practice mainly to poverty. The same report says the number of people living in the city is likely to increase by 18% in the next 20 years, as many abandon their villages in the search for employment. If you are going to lose two, three hours walking, then it means you work less and you continue to be in a state of poverty. So are Ugandans poor? The answer is yes. Quite a number of people are very poor, even those you see driving. Many like Asimwe, who have managed to gain work, find their income yet to match the rising cost of living and economic analysts say this is due to lack of planning by those in authority so the poverty we have cannot go unless if we start to plan deliberate attempt to come up with policies that are inclusive that bring inclusive growth for now as the day comes to a close asimu will have to brave the next six kilometer walk back home after a long day's work. Michael Baleke, CCTV, Kampala.